Hello everybody and, and welcome to another teacher talk sessions and today we are going to have a very interesting conversation with a teacher trainer from really far away and uh, she is from Argentina and she is uh, Celeste Grimao and she is a very important educator for her country and she has uh, written different uh, online ebooks, games books, and so very different activities. And she is going to be with us here <coughs> today's conversation. And when she comes, she will join our live session, and we are going to start our conversation. And I hope that you are going to enjoy this session because I'm really uh, excited about <coughs> this session and, uh, and I'm really won wondering what uh, what uh, is she going to uh, talk about and what she's going to say about my questions and now she is here and now I can call her our live session and, <coughs> and then we can start she is here. Yes. Hello, Mrs. Hello. Grimal. Good afternoon to Argentina. And Hello. good evening to Turkey. It's three o'clock in the afternoon here in Argentina. Yeah, and it is nine o'clock uh, in the nine o'clock in the evening here in Turkey. <laughs> yes, it's very <laughs> you know the different time you know uh, <coughs> time here and there and hi. And we have also different uh, listeners, educators in our uh, live stations. They are going to join us. So I hope it's going to be a really uh, nice and very, you know, joyful conversation here uh, today. And I hope uh, everybody will uh, get something from you <laughs> and at the end of the, our live station. Okay, so Mrs. Uh, Grimau. Uh, if you are ready, and we can start. I am. <laughs> and by the way, uh, for before you start that, I would like to thank you that you accept my invitation and to join uh, my live station, Teacher Talks. And this is the 15th Teacher Talks. And I have been doing this for 15 weeks. And it's a very long, you know, very long period. So, so far, so good. And I'm sure that uh, this uh, live session is going to be as great as other sessions <laughs> with you. <clears throat> yes, I'm enthusiastic too uh, to share uh, all my games and ideas with people uh, and teachers from all over the world. So yeah, I'm very happy to thank you for inviting me today. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, uh, Mrs. Grimau. So let it's it's better to start, and if you are ready, so can you tell us about uh, yourself a little bit? Yeah, well, uh, I uh, graduated in Buenos Aires as a teacher of English, and mm -hmm. then uh, Buenos Aires is the capital city of um, of Argentina, and then I moved uh, to the south, to the very south of Argentina. Uh, I was very young, and uh, it was. Patagonia. I still live in Patagonia, but in another city. And I moved to uh, the glaciers, where we have the glaciers, to the very, very south of Argentina. And there uh -huh. I started my first school of English. Um, and well, after that, um, I moved to this town, Bariloche, 26 years ago, and I opened this school. 25 years ago. I think it has paused. Yeah, we can we okay. can continue. that everyone taught using games in their classes. I thought that using games was natural because yes. I had been a 
scout, you know, from uh -huh. the Boy Scouts. I've been a scout all my life, and I knew how to reach people through games. Yes. And that's why then I adapted the games <laughs> I knew and I knew like in my blood to the, uh -huh. to the classes. And I yes. saw that students learned a lot and that they enjoyed the process. Uh -huh. So at that point, they started calling me uh, to give different workshops in different parts of my country. Uh, and I started investigating because wow. uh, people wanted uh, more, because I said this works, but people needed more um, theory. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I started investigating. So the process was the other way around. I started with the practice and then went to the theory. Uh, and I found a lot of answers uh, in, well, uh, I studied brain development. I studied, wow. mm -hmm. uh, yes, lots of things and to try to find answers. And I found uh -huh. that students learn more when they have an experience. Wow, uh, wonderful. Yes, uh, and I always tell this example. Um, I, uh, when I was a kid, my grandmother taught me how to make a cake. Uh, like, it's like a tart we eat here in Argentina. It's called pasta frola. And uh, it's Can you, a tart. Pasta frola. Frola, yeah. It's uh, made with quins. Do you know what? It's a fruit, quins. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. And, well, and... I made this uh, cake with my grandma and I learned how to make it. And I never forgot because it was an experience and experiences yeah. generate emotions like uh, surprise, joy. In this case, it was joy and happiness because I was sharing mm -hmm. something with my grandmother. Yes. Uh, and you know that uh, thoughts in turn generate opinions, decisions. Uh, learning go into their long-term memory. Are you following me? <laughs> wow, I don't know if you are following me. Continue talking, I don't know if you... Okay, can you, uh, yeah, yes, now I can, but you were like, there was like a circle there. Yeah, now it's okay, now it's better. I think there was a problem with the connection, but now I think uh, it's fine. Is it, uh, is it possible yeah. to uh, just repeat the last part that yeah. you're mentioning after yeah. that you have learned how to make the cook, how yeah. to make the cake? Yeah, and so I said that it was an experience and the experiences generate emotions and the emotions generate thoughts and opinions. They yes. generate responses and these uh, re responses influence the way students uh, are motivated to learn or to take actions. So uh, if we can make these experiences memorable, like the one of the cake, uh -huh. uh, yes. yeah, the, the learning uh, will go into the student's long-term memory. Exactly. Okay, You're so right. that is forever. On the other hand, I always tell that I learned how to make a brownie. 
And you know brownie, the cake? Yeah, of yes. course. I and love it. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, uh, I learned how to make this uh, brownie uh, with a recipe from the internet. And whenever I need to uh, cook my brownie, I have to go into the internet again because that learning is not in my long-term memory because it was not an experience. Yes. Uh, so what I discovered is that uh -huh. when we eat with experiences, is yes. uh, that learning is forever. And games are experiences because whenever you play a game, you are experiencing uh, yeah, something. Def definitely, you are right. Uh, do you want to play a game with me? Now? Sure, yes. we can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can play a game. It's okay. Why not? Okay. Well, this is a very, very simple game because we are on Instagram and the game is like this. And we are going to find three ways, okay, of saying hello. Okay. Okay. Number one is going to be like this. Hello. Can you hello. make it like hello? Yes. Hello. Number two, yes. Number two is going to be hello. Hello. Very good. And number yeah. three, be like a bird. Hello. Hello. Okay. Like this. Hello. Like yeah, a bird. Like hello. Okay. Like a bird. Okay. So okay. number one, number two, and number three. Number, we number have to three. Okay. We have to repeat the word hello. Okay. Uh, at the same time, choosing one movement. Okay. You can choose. Number one, Hello. number two, two, number three. Number three, okay. Uh, and uh, in case uh, we coincide, we get a point. All right, okay. We have to choose one movement. We have to say the word hello and the movement. If we coincide with one, it's a point. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Close, close your eyes, close your eyes, and we do it. Yes, one, two, three. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Open. Open your eyes. Yes. Oh, so we call it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. So we call in. Yes, we got yes. the point. Yes. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> Wonderful. With that, with that game, that is very, very simple. Uh, for example, uh, you can teach vocabulary, make students yes. talk, and yes. most of all, uh, you can uh, include fun um, into uh, your class. Oh, uh, yes, definitely. Uh, definitely. We create a brain-friendly uh, strategy, uh, strategies by always providing a, a context in our teaching. In other words, learners of all ages still enjoy imagination, fantasy, yes? And these are yes. some of the elements of fun. So um, uh, what I wanted to show you here with this game is that we can include also a little bit of movement, even though, as you told me before, you are having classes online. We, yes, we are also yes, having classes. we have started. Yeah, and uh, students are at home, poor, poor boys and girls sitting in front of a computer, uh, a yes. lot of hours. So uh, if we make them move a little, uh, yes. it's good for their brain. It's like the brain starts again when you include movement. Uh, definitely. Okay. Exactly. Yes. You're right. You're right. Let's see if I okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Are we there? Yes, I am here. Uh, so uh, I was telling that uh, in in uh, I run an institute here in Patagonia in Bariloche. That is Bariloche. It's a it's a city in the south of Argentina, and uh, in a class of one hour. We include at least three games. Ah, yeah. In our three games you play. Okay. 
Yeah, at least three games. And we have a, here, uh, we have a games library of yes. uh, more than 1,000 games. And wow. this, wow. this game, yes, uh, these games were created by the teachers here because, well, we work with a team of people who like working like this. Wow, and, nice. Uh, yeah, and what we do in all the classes with children and adolescents and adults, uh, mm -hmm. we include at least three games in the class. And, uh, well, yes. with the things I have uh, been studying about the brain, uh, I'm, I, I, we're including more and more movement because students need to move in order mm -hmm. to learn. Exactly. Um, so, yes, to move and enjoy the process. Um, I always tell the teachers that um, whenever you play games, you uh, have to be present. You have to be here, yes, in the present. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you are in the present, uh, you learn more. And also, you are happier. Uh, <laughs> yes, definitely. <clears throat> have, you, have you noticed uh, very little kids when they play? They, uh, for example, they play with a car, and they are hours with their uh, car playing, and they are there in the present. They are not thinking about the future or the past or the ba bills they have to pay, they are there <laughs> like in, us. in the moment. Yeah? Yes. And they are happy. They are yeah. there. So we as teachers, uh, I think that we um, as teachers um, can enjoy our classes a lot if we understand to be there and to be present because we will be happy. I, I always tell uh, people, whenever you give a class, uh, mm -hmm. whose hour is that? Uh, it's your life because you are spending yes, uh, one hour of your life there. You are right. Uh, definitely. And, yeah, and, and you can decide if you are going to be there and be happy and enjoy it and uh, be 100% um, there or yes. just give the class a card. You are right. Uh, exactly. Well, thank you. I, I was reading yeah. the, the comments. Yeah, she said, thank mentioning, you. mentioning happiness, a great to hear a teacher trainer who cares about learners' happiness as much as their success. Yeah. Definitely wonderful. <laughs> <coughs> wonderful. Yes. Yes, but uh, I, I, I totally agree with that. Um, and I think that uh, all teachers can uh, try to incorporate games in their lessons. And yeah, yes. it happens that when you start incorporating games, uh, it becomes natural. And you start uh, creating more and more games and you find ideas everywhere and you adapt them. And um, it, you asked me the other day, what was my motto? motto? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I said that it is uh, all glory comes from daring to begin. Yeah, you are right. <coughs> the very beginning, you are right. Because all glory. Sometimes all glory comes from daring to begin. And uh, you know that uh, playing games uh, makes, as I told you before, uh, makes you happy. But you have to say, okay, I'll start playing games. Uh, I was telling that uh, we uh, always, um, um, in our classes, we start our classes with the password. Uh, that's the first game. In order to enter the, the classroom, students have to uh, say a password. A password is a, a phrase that we gave them the previous class. Mm, uh, it's like wonderful. The, <laughs> so uh, this is great because students are connected with the class before entering uh, into the before coming to the class. 
Yes, and when yeah. we have the classes, he can uh -huh. see them in their trying to learn the password because if not, uh -huh. uh, they have to go out and study the password to enter. Really, um, it, it's it's very yeah. it's very interesting to to do to do that kind of. They, they cannot come to the class and they cannot go out of the class before without without saying the password. Yeah. Yeah. And then every class they have a, a new password, okay? And uh, that is uh, great because, uh, for example, I don't know if you are uh, teaching um, food, for example, the password could be uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Wow! Uh, Wonderful. And by that, by the help of that, they 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 memorize the phrases, I think, easily. Sorry, I, I can't listen to you now. I no, can't. Uh, by, by the help of that way, they can easily memorize that phrases. Absolutely, absolutely. They they start memorizing new phrases and learning new things. And um, in but I think uh, uh, I think that this technique is from accelerated learning because students. Um, are into the class before coming to the class. And then the second activity we always do is the check-in. Uh, the yeah. check-in, like when you go to a, a hotel or an airport, uh -huh. um, is they come into the class and they say how they feel that day. Uh, for example, uh, the other day we had a lady from, uh, well, it, it was not the other day, I'm sorry, it was last year. Uh, it was a lady. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it was a lady uh, from here, and her daughter lives in Spain. And that day, uh, she came into the class, and we started with a check in, and she said, Well, today I feel sad because my daughter, who lives in Spain, came back and went back to Spain with the, her baby, and I'm really sad. And well, and then um, another man that has a baby, who had a baby, said, I, I'm really sleepy because last night my baby didn't sleep a, a wink, and I'm very tired. So we could understand that he was not bored, but he was sleepy, sleepy. okay? Yeah. She was not angry, but she was sad, but it was not because of the class, it was because her daughter had left. So in this way, you can you start uh, building the group's spirit, and they start knowing each other, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can um, also uh, create empathy within the group, exactly. okay? Yeah. And exactly. people feel more secure because uh, they feel uh, like relaxed and they learn more too, okay? Because okay. when you are in a relaxed area, you learn much more. Yeah, of course. Okay? When you are relaxed, you learn much better. Yeah, if you are, if you are, if you are not, you know, like, uh, if you are not, in, you know, anxious. Or like learning new things. If you, as you said, if you're in a relaxed and if you are in a comfortable environment, as you said, you learn much better. <clears throat> yes. So well, what's, that's also uh, we we generally have those activities, and then we have. Um, uh, well, of course, we have a book, but we like change the book mm -hmm. into uh, games. And into memorable experiences, as I told you before, yes. we try students to have fun and to enjoy their process and to have memory memorable experiences yes. when they learn the language. I see. Yes, wonderful, <coughs> wonderful. And uh, and I think it's about. Can I ask you different questions? If it's okay. I, I can't listen to you very no, well at this me. moment. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me now? No? Hello? Not very well. Hello? No, I, I, uh, I listen to you, but it's like everything is like 
in nope. chunks. <laughs> you can't please hear me now. Not very well. Not well. Very well. Mm. No. And uh, but uh, no. yeah, my connection. Okay. My connection is also okay, but I didn't understand what happened. So what about now? No. No. Let's let's try and see what happens. Okay. So. <laughs> I would like to ask you in a, a different questions, if it's okay, in a different way. All right. Yeah, sure. Now, sure. And you mentioned about your experiences about education. All right. Uh, so, so, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Sure. Oh, okay. Great. So you mentioned about uh, your experiences and your games. And as far as I know, uh, you have uh, three books. I think three books. The, they call it Vitamin Shock Games, I think. So can you please uh, tell us about them? Like what kind of games you have in that books? And so how can we reach them? And uh, so... How can we use that books in our classes? Okay, the the um, the games are uh, e-books, so uh, they are very easy uh, to get from all over the world. Um, and well, I started uh, with these uh, games that are like recipes, and f um, so I was telling you that I started with them because people started asking me for ideas and I um, gave a workshop and I came home and I started typing the games. So yes. one day I said, no, I have to publish these games so I can uh, um, read more people. And yes. uh, well, and this year during the um, lockdown, uh, I published the third book. Wonderful. Um, and well, yeah, I'm very, very happy. Um, and also, the, the games, uh, you know that um, students enjoy language more when they are involved. Yes, mm -hmm. and games are whole activities that foster the development of the four, of the, of the four language uh, skills and cater for the three learning styles, like visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Uh, so, uh, with the books, uh, what you will find is um, ideas to teach different vocabulary or grammar structures. Yes. Um, yes. And, and students are, uh, will be actively engaged in the learning process, process when they play a game because there is absence mm -hmm. of threat. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, I was telling you that well, in the in the in each book, you will find uh, four uh, forty games. Um, if you want, I can tell you about one game. Hello. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, yes. I, I will tell you one of sure, the games. Yes, I would like to listen. Um, the, the, the games are games with no preparation, almost no preparation, because generally teachers don't have much time to cut out and to paste yes. and to do all that. <laughs> yes, teachers are tired of, of doing that and. What I feel is that students know uh, a lot uh, about computers and uh, visual things that we learn to surprise them in a different way. Yes. Um, we can't surprise them with a, it's very difficult to surprise them with a video they can uh, watch at home. We have to surprise them with different things. And uh, yes. for example, the, the first uh, game of my first book is called uh, Blind Picture. Uh -huh. 
and, and the game goes like this. I give um, students a list of words. Uh, for example, imagine you are uh, learning fruits. Okay. okay. You have banana, apple, uh, orange. Mm -hmm. the, the list of words. Sometimes yeah. these words are even in the book. Sometimes in the book okay. you have this chart, the new words. Okay, you uh -huh. can use those. You don't need uh, extra preparation. You can adapt the book into a game. So okay. you tell the students, okay, uh, get in pairs, and they uh -huh. have to draw, to close yes. their eyes, a fruit. Yes. Okay. And it's very fun. You try to draw something. You can't see. Yes, okay. it's difficult. It's, and it's Yes, then you have a look at, the, at your picture and you laugh. <laughs> and you have to show the picture to the other person and say, uh -huh. uh, well, what's this? And they have to guess, what's this? Yeah, it's a, well, it's, it's an orange. No, it isn't. Oh, it's an apple. Yes, it's an apple. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a very fun game. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, so the games I suggest are really, really simple. Um, mm -hmm. Another game, um, well, this. Uh, yes. I, I don't know if you can listen. Yes, you can listen to me. Yeah, Great. I, I to. Um, yes. uh, also, um, uh, well, that is one of the games from uh, my, my book. Um, some of the games can be used, on, are very difficult to adapt online, but uh, some of them are easily uh, adapted to online teaching, uh, especially if you want movement in your online teaching. Um, Stuart, I think that, for example, I don't know, near here in Argentina, we've been um, teaching online for, I think, six months. So yes. students need a lot of, uh, movement and to feel enthusiastic about their classes and not just have passive classes. So yes. I think that in this time, the challenge is to uh -huh. make students move and participate and uh, do things. And as I, I, told you, I told you before, I also, I, um, I have organized some workshops for teachers um, wow. Online, we have the next one on the 18th of September. Uh, wow, it's at wonderful. six o'clock. So, if you want to participate, is I think it's going to be very late for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, but it's okay. It's not a problem, and uh, if if we can do it, uh, why not? <laughs> yeah. I will take that into account for the following workshop. <laughs> uh, this workshop is called the Extra Mile. I did the first. Uh, the first one I did was a solidarity event uh -huh. uh, to help some people. And well, then it was so successful that I continued, and now uh -huh. I'm going to do it fourth time, fourth, fourth time, fourth time. And uh, we also did the extra mile two with new games, and we are having a new project for next month. Um, so I'm really wow. very happy with this project because we are uh, having people from different parts of the world joining us, and that is amazing. I can't believe it. Yes, in the so previous one we had people from Spain, from Italy, from Puerto Rico, from Mexico. So wow. yeah. It was a, it's yeah. going to be an international project. <laughs> Pardon? It's going to be an Inter international project. Yes. 
it's, it's going yeah. to be an international project, yes. <laughs> and it's, it's going to be really nice, I think. It sounds great. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I'm very, very enthusiastic with these workshops because um, you know that, uh, well, you asked me first uh, what, uh, what was my motto and I said uh, that it was all glory comes from daring to begin. Yes. But uh, when this uh, uh, quarantine, uh, coronavirus and things started, uh -huh. at the beginning, I, I have to say that I was very, I don't know, like uh, lost. Well, what am I going to do? Uh, so I stopped. We stopped the, the classes for a week and a half. And we said, I said, okay, we have to train ourselves. We took a course in a future learn that was fantastic to learn how to teach online. And from, uh, And I started with a new motto that was, uh, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a very, you know, that's a very nice, you know, the pro proverb, when life gives you a lemon, make a lemonade. It's very, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really nice. Lemons are uh, sourness or a difficult time in life. Uh, yes, and but making don't lemonade. forget to put sugar in it. Yes. Yeah, makes making lemonade and um, it's something positive. Yes, and yeah. something that you like. So yeah. with the sour of the lemons, you can add a little bit of sugar and make lemonade. So you can change yeah, exactly. a very negative situation into a positive, a positive situation. situation. Yes, from negative to positive. Wonderful, of course, definitely, and we My have to. Yes. My motto yes. for this time is this. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> that's what we've <laughs> been <a> doing. <laughs> that's, that's really wonderful. It's great. It's a great motto to choose for, especially for these days. And I have another uh, question for you. And what's your opinion about distant learning? What do you think about distant learning? Well, um, also my opinion has changed. I, uh -huh. uh, in the past, I remember that they uh, invited me to give some courses online and I said, no, that is impossible for me because I uh, make um, game, I mean, I, I teach through games, through movement, and that is impossible online. And now I have changed because I'm giving workshops online. Uh, <laughs> I think that, uh, well, it's a, a wonderful option. I mean, I think that nowadays it's a wonderful option, uh, especially mm -hmm. with adults. Uh, I think that the, for the kids, um, yes. it's better to have contact. Uh, I think that uh, kids uh, need to socialize. Uh, yes, adults definitely. too, of course. Of course. Uh, well, it's, it's a, I mean, a, a wonderful option that I think we have all discovered. Uh -huh. You are well, right. In my case, you are in, right. I think it's impossible. And now I think, well, that's possible. And it's, fa it's great that I'm talking to you guys in, uh, <laughs> in Turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's wonderful. Maybe, yeah, you are right. Maybe if, if, if we don't, ha if we wouldn't have the coronavirus now, probably we don't have this uh, conversation. But thanks to, <laughs> actually, it's not a good thing. But as you, as you mentioned before, make negative things to positive. So I think this is the positive side. Yeah, absolutely. We are making lemonade. <laughs> yeah, now we are making lemonade and a very good lemonade. Very good lemonade. So, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Germao, my other question is about uh, your experience in your own teaching. What was your favorite moment or experience in your own education? Online education or in, no, 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 in general, my education? I mean general. Yeah, your education. What was your favorite moment or experience in your own education? 
Well, it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't thought about that question. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 a little bit difficult. Yeah, but uh, I think that um, it was when I was at the teaching training college. I had a teacher. Uh, her name is Violeta and Markiewicz, and uh, well, I contacted her some months ago. We had a very nice conversation. She lives in the USA now. And she was the person who um, made uh, so your positive side. Yes, uh -huh. she only um, tried to show you that you had a positive side. And uh, for me, she was wonderful. Uh, she was very positive, and she was my methodology teacher at the Professorao English at the. English teaching uh, mm -hmm. college, yes. and uh, well, I think she saw the good things in me, and that was an example. And yeah. always, I try to do to do that to see the positive things in the students. They are potential. Okay, so exactly. for me, uh, that is the best experience because you, as I told you at the beginning. <laughs> Uh, I was, um, a, I, at that time, I used to be participating in a scout group in an active uh -huh. way. And she learned about that. And yes. she uh, went to do these um, practices in the classes. Uh -huh. I told her about the games, and she um, suggested me to include the games into my lessons. Uh, well, Wonderful. Wow. Yes. So that was a like, very, very great moment for you, I think. <laughs> she was like a hero. I always said that, um, uh, talking about creativity, you can have your monsters and your heroes. I have some monsters too. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that, that, that was <laughs> it's <a> great, great. <laughs> okay. So, thanks. Thanks for this answer. So my other question uh, is about actually your country. So can you tell us about what are the advantages and disadvantages of working in Argentina or maybe the place where you live, Patagonia? Yes. Uh, well, here, uh, I mean, I teach English and I think that the level of English of most of the teachers here in Argentina is very good because uh, the um, teaching language colleges are very good. So teachers have very right. good levels of, uh -huh. um, of English. So uh, that is uh, nice. And also students want to learn, at least the students who come to my institute, uh, it's a language school. Um, yes. They want to learn. And uh, so that's very positive for us because they yeah. really want to be here. They, when they want to learn, they come to your institution. That's what I understand. Well, <laughs> they come here when they, when I think that they come here when they are little ones, when the parents understand that uh, playing games, students will learn more. And, when, yes. and the adults they discover that too. Yeah. I see. Great. Wonderful. That's, that's, the, that's a good advantage. I mean, one of the advantages of the working there. All right. Wonderful. So uh, my other uh, question is, uh, I want to ask you an, another question. And, sure. sure. Uh, huh. As you said uh, before, as you said before, uh, in what do you think about teachers? professional development and what can teachers do for their professional development during this period i i i couldn't uh, hear very well what uh, what, what, do you, what do you think about what do you think about teachers professional development and well, what can what can teachers do for their professional development during this period well, uh, what I think uh, about uh, teachers' development it is that it is 
essential. <laughs> that <laughs> uh, we teachers always need to improve. Okay, and uh, in my case, I love doing this. This is my passion. Um, it's not a job. Yes, teaching is my life, is my passion. Uh, so I'm always trying to uh, find uh, ways of um, improving and learning new things. Uh, some years ago, for example, I started to study drama at the university. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, because, well, I was given a lot of uh, confidences and I needed more tools. So I said, yes. well, I need to uh, get more tools. So I started to study drama at the university. It was wonderful. And um, so you always need to get more um, uh, development, but it can be like this. I mean, if, uh, for example, you like cooking, you can go and take a cooking uh, class and include that into your uh, teaching, uh, learning uh, in your English classes, sorry, okay? Yeah. So you can learn what yeah. you want and try to include it into your classes. Uh, yes. And the other question was, what about now in this time of uh, lockdown? Well, here now we have lots of opportunities. Everything is open, everything is free. Um, it's amazing. You have webinars every day, conferences every day. It's amazing. Yes, it's, it's all, amazing. Uh, so absolutely. I think, I think we can yeah. take advantage of that. Yeah, as a teacher, we have to use, the, use this uh, situation as an advantage. I see. I see. Okay. So, uh, my other question is, uh, can I ask the other one? You are, of course. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, great. And do you feel that, it's actually about the thing, do you feel that the current, the current way you are educating children, do, do, you, do, you, uh, do you feel that the current way you are educating children fully prepares them for the needs of the 21st century skills? Okay. Well, uh, at least we try. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if we know what the, uh, the next years, uh, what, what they will need. But I, at least I think that we are trying. Uh, I and was, I was telling you before, uh, I feel that um, kids, uh, children, need to find experiences in their yes. schools because uh, all the information is in the internet. Yes. Uh, they can find all the information in the internet. In the past, the school was like the knowledge uh, temple. And exactly. uh, now uh, all the information is online. So they need us to facilitate uh -huh. their process of learning and uh -huh. um, to have, uh, exp yeah, and I think the school should provide experiences. They should go to the school and, uh, and have practical uh, activities, not theory, because the theory is very easy. Is I mean, they can find it very easily uh, in the internet. You are right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are but right. What I, opinion okay thank you thank you and uh, other other one is uh, it's about the uh, what do you <clears throat> what do you feel the most exciting or effective learning environment would be okay can you repeat the question sure please? what and what do you feel or what do you think let's say what do you think the most exciting or effective learning environment would be? Environment. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, schools should uh, be like, students should feel at home in the, in the school. So uh, for me, uh, they have to be like, uh, recreate like brain friendly um, 
spaces where students mm -hmm. can feel comfortable and um, yes, mainly to feel comfortable and relaxed. So yeah. for me, that would be, and if they can, um, if you have uh, the possibility of being in the open air and play some games outside, that would be great uh -huh. too. <clears throat> I see, great, thank you. And so and the other one is, it's about actually the government. So what role, what role do you think government should play in education? Well, and I, I can tell you that what happens here in my country, we have both public education and private education, and people yes. can decide public education is free in the three levels, primary, secondary, and uh, university too. And well, mm -hmm. that's a, a great place and a great opportunity, but if not, you can choose the uh, a, a private education that is also very good. So I think that both can coexist. Uh -huh. Okay, both can coexist. So the government, I mean, the government uh, should play. What do you think the government, the, does the government gives you more chance uh, for education or show you the way how to <coughs> teach? I mean, like, what do you think about this? I, I can't listen very well, sorry. Uh, no, I, ask, the... I, ask, I ask you, the, the, my question is about the government. And it, uh, yes. how, how does the government, uh, how does the government take responsibility in education? Yeah, I, I, well, I think it's part of, uh, I mean, uh, the government should provide education uh, to, at least in our country, I don't know in other countries, but here the government provides education uh, to all the people. Uh, here, education is open to everyone. I see. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. And my other question is about uh, the, again, education. What do, you, what do you think about the future of education? The future. Yes, the future, the future of education. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, I think uh, it's what I said before, that uh, education should be more um, oriented to experiences rather than uh, theory or facts, because yes. uh, the facts are all in the internet. And uh, students, uh, I, I, I even see it when you are with someone and they, you say something and immediately they double check with their Google. <laughs> so <laughs> you see that people are always checking uh, what you are saying. So, uh, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. We all do that. So uh, we have to give students all the things they can't find uh, in the Internet. And that is an experience uh -huh. because I think that experiences are memorable. And uh, as I told you before, the, the game of my workshop was yes, um, exactly. the extra, the extra mm -hmm. mile because I think that we all teachers uh, in this um, uh, scenario of coronavirus, I think that teachers of the whole world have gone the extra mile. We have done yes. something else, yes, yes that even that right. we, are, we are training ourselves at any time of the, of the night and we are taking courses and more training courses. And, and uh, what I think is that teachers have uh, given a very, very uh, good example to their mm -hmm. students yes. because we are trying to go right. further they have gone the extra mile. And yeah. that is wonderful. I think that is amazing. <laughs> Finding so many people being so enthusiastic about learning yes. more. Yeah, that is fantastic for me. Yeah. yeah. That's, wonderful. Um, that's, uh, wonderful. 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 Thank you. And as I think we, we are coming the end uh, of our uh, live sessions, Mrs. Uh, Gramao, but uh, before we before we, uh, you know, stop our, I mean, the, our live sessions, 
what would you like to say uh, to all to teachers around the world? What advice would you like to give to them? Okay, I, I would I would like to say that um, as a teacher, I feel very proud of all of us because <laughs> I think, yeah I feel very very proud. Uh, I think that we teachers have done and are doing a wonderful job. Well, I think that uh, that is fantastic, and we are teaching uh, students a lesson with this. And the lesson is this: when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Uh, Gramau. That it was really a nice uh, conversation uh, with you. And uh, so I hope uh, we can have uh, another session with you in the future. So thank you very much for your time for your experiences and for your advices and suggestions for uh, in, in, in to us and to all our listeners and i'm sure that they they have already taken they have already taken really nice activities uh, from these sessions because i did and i'm going to use it <laughs> with my kids uh, so uh, By the way, uh, yeah, thank that, you very much uh, for everything. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's been a wonderful meeting you people from a place so far away from home. And well, yes. I uh, did my Instagram, Steps Bariloche, and also I am the administrator of a page called Teaching English Through Games and Creativity. I think, well, you yes. are a member. Um, yes, I am. Also, if you are interested in joining the workshops, uh, you can find information there too. Okay. So thank I will, you I will, I will, I will share it. I will share it in my account, and uh, I will also <coughs> give your uh, webinars and uh, webinar sessions and all in my accounts, like Facebook and Instagram, and so they can reach from there. They can reach from there. Okay, thank you very yes, much, Mrs. Yes. Grema, for your time. Uh, it's, and I hope uh, you will have a wonderful the day, I mean, over there in Argentina. And that's all. And yes. Have a nice day. Thank you very much to join us. And thank you, everybody, to join and listen to us. And I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed it a lot. And I learned really nice things from you, Mrs. Grema. Thank you very much again. And, yes. and bye for now. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.